Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And, uh, you know, I've been in bed all day. I got back from the doctor today. I've been going through a lot of health things recently. It looks like I'm just pushing myself way too hard. And so I've, you know, took last week off. I was feeling it pretty much last week and over the weekend. And then once I slept for about 15 hours, almost 15 hours straight, I think I woke up for like an hour around the 10 hour marker and then went back to bed for like another four hours. Um, so once I, you know, happened or experienced that on Sunday, I knew, all right, something is definitely wrong. Um, I felt fatigued before, but this was something I thought might have been different. Uh, but it looks like I am just going through, uh, you know, massive uh, fatigue spells right now. Um, and I don't know if it's a combination of, you know, what's happening as far as like weather out here, even though it's been kind of mildly, not as hot as it has been a couple weeks ago. Um, but I think it's just work. Like my workload has drastically increased. Uh, for those who don't see behind the scenes, um, you know, I not only do I work a 40 hour week job, but I also, you know, do these videos and I try to get out as many as possible. I apologize that I'm behind on stuff. Uh, I promise, uh, you know, try to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm trying to keep up that way, at least with Venom news, like pop figures and all that. Some of these things I just might not make videos on just because I'm like, oh, I'm trying to get through some of the history of Venom right now. Um, but I also want to take a little break and do a trailer reaction because we actually have an absolute carnage trailer that was released from Marvel today. And so uh, I, you know, earlier I actually went on, I hit like on the video because uh, I know some people were like, oh, you're a Donnie Cates hater. And it's like, no, that's not the case at all. There's some things in this story I don't like, but there are some things I do like. I just haven't been really sucked in the way a lot of you guys have. Uh, but someone brought up a really good point to me. They said, you know, even if you don't like some of his run, uh, they did appreciate why I, you know, me explaining, I guess, the things I don't like uh, and being critical. And uh, so I guess some people enjoyed that and they like having that back and forth. So obviously that's what I want to do on this channel. I want to create dialogue between people who love something and don't love something. I don't want to just be like this toxic fan who just hates something and just writes it off. Uh, that's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to love things that are Venom related and even the things that I don't love fully or at least love as much as you guys do. I should at least still talk about it because you guys like it so much and it opens up a dialogue between us and I have learned some things from you guys you're like oh you missed this part or this thing was explained here and it's it's nice because it helps educate me as well so this isn't just a one-way street here I don't want it to be so with absolute carnage I've decided to go ahead I went to house of secrets um, I created a pull list there they're not too far from my house um, you know and I talked to those guys there and they are saving me every title every major absolute carnage issue and all the tie-ins so I will not miss a single book and we will review every single one of them on this channel throughout the summer. So without further ado, because I've talked long enough, let's dive into this Absolute Carnage trailer and uh, check it out. And I'll put a link to it down below so you can check it out without me talking over it. What's so exciting for me about Absolute Carnage is not All right, we got only C.B. Sibolsky. Almost every Spider-Man character we've ever seen over the course Ooh. of Marvel history. I like these animations that they do in these videos. In the Marvel universe. I might no pull some of them like if as long as marvel's okay absolute with that i'll put some music over absolute it and carnage is being created um, by Johnny Cates maybe we can make an absolute carnage intro with some of that most recent volume of Venom. i hate to take their work though so i don't know we'll see because um, that's that's beautiful i love those i love those little animated things this is devin lewis uh you know he's the what, editor of a lot of the spider books of venom scarlet spider spider gwen at one point, I don't know if he still is. I think I Scarlet Spider doesn't exist anymore as a, a book, but um, he was the editor on that one. All in, and are both such huge fans of the series and fans of where it's going. Really, what Donnie and Ryan have done here, beyond all the all the cool explosive hmm. action, is that they're reintroducing Cletus Cassidy into the Marvel universe. One of my favorite parts about Absolute Carnage number one is that when Venom comes face to face, I mean, Carnage, Ryan Sigmund's art's amazing. Can't deny it. that. To be there and experience that with him. So readers are going to get a sense of how massive and scary uh, and reintroducing Cletus Cat. So it's like, so again, everybody putting their stamp, but like being so blatant with it. Uh, I don't know. Comes across a little ego-ish, but I don't know. I, I never really enjoy some of these trailers sometimes um, because there's a lot of corporate talk in them, like buzz sentences to like get headlines, you know. And is try I like that. We gave a serial killer a nuclear bomb. <laughs> That's a pretty good description of the book. And he's right. I mean, most people have had the symbiote briefly merged with them. 
Um, and he's saying he guarantees that you know, there might not be there. There will be some casualties in, in this. So that's neat. I mean, you know, I, I don't dislike these guys. Again, if you haven't checked out Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman's um, podcast, you really should because on the first episode I th- or one of the episodes I watched recently or listened to, they um, I think they put a video version of it too. Uh, they talked about. Um, like the, they did a commentary for issue one of Venom. And I thought that was cool. I didn't learn anything new that I didn't already learn reading the book. Um, I just kept hearing Donny Cates go, yeah, well, we got criticized for this, this, and we get criticized a lot on these things in the book. But, um, but ultimately, you know, like, you know, we have these things planned out, all these, you know, like it'll all make sense eventually. And I don't know, I feel like that's kind of a, a cop out sometimes uh, when when writers are like, oh, I, I planned out, you know, three years or five years of story. And it's like, ah, that's great, but you still need consistent things happening each arc. And and some of you would argue that there is consistent things happening in each arc, but uh, I also feel like there's a, a lot of loss of things um, as far as continuity goes. And I feel like you can tell new stories without getting rid of old things sometimes. Um, and the way they get rid of old things in this one is just, it feels lazy, uh, but uh, but again, you know, I, I'm still on board on the concept level. I still like that they're trying new things with Venom. I cannot fault them for that. Uh, it is a character that, you know, even me, like if someone was like, hey, you want to write a Venom book? I would probably just do the thing that makes the most sense, which is street level, you know, something like that, you know, in the streets of San Francisco or New York or something. Um, I would probably grounded I, I probably wouldn't go too deep into the, the mythology and the lore, and I think that's why Donny Cates is ultimately the right guy for this book uh because he is just gonna you know add so much stuff to the lore of venom and for me like i just wouldn't approach a story that way but he does and so that's why i'm kind of fascinated by his writing style in this book i'm like "Ah, i don't love it he even talks about in the commentary for issue one he said that they originally were going to start off with an eddie brock story like the second arc uh with uh, dylan and all that they were originally going to do something more personal and then jason aaron recommended that oh no you got to start with the grendel you got to open the book with like this big concept and I don't know. Again, I might argue against that. I'm, I like slow builds to things, not like boom, you know, because that's, of course, Jason Aaron's going to say that. He writes, he opens his Avengers book with this big celestial story and these like, you know, Avengers BC or whatever. And it's this big thing. And then he shrinks it down and tells like these vampire stories. And it's like, uh, maybe start with the vampire stuff and build up, um, you know, but I, I, I get it. Like it's, it's a comic book and you're not guaranteed anything in a comic book. You're not guaranteed that it's going to last for more than a year or two years or even that much uh, if you're lucky so it makes sense from a business standpoint a writing standpoint like on that level like we got to start big and uh, and it did it clearly worked i mean i may be in the minority there but it worked because clearly this book is selling really well and people are digging it uh and so for that reason you know i still want to read absolute carnage and plus donny cates he's just writing the absolute carnage book and he's writing the venom book that ties into it but a lot of the tie-ins are written by like colin bunn and frank thierry and these are all people that i i am big fans of and i do like their writing and so uh i think for that reason too uh, i'm not just getting one voice in this book i'm getting multiple voices and uh and that could be a lot of fun uh to explore on this show so hopefully you guys are on board let me know what you think of this trailer i mean again it sounds like a lot of corporate talk it's just like with the x-men one we re- watched recently were just like buzz sentences oh say this and that'll get us a headline and blah 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 and i get it uh, again from a business standpoint i understand all of these things but i just love personal stuff so when people talk to me on a personal level like a one-on-one human being level that and don't talk like you know that they're reciting policy or or, or some kind of script um i i usually respond better to that stuff uh, but still it doesn't take away at least my interest in this series and, uh, and we will cover it and I will analyze it and be critical of it, uh, but I'm not going in to want to hate it. I want to ke- I want this book in the series to keep getting better and better. And what Colin Bunn did during the, uh, you know, the War of the Realm storyline, I thought was fantastic. So I'm, I'm hoping Donny Cates picks up on some of those threads and takes that off in some other areas. But I'm also uh, excited to see Colin Bunn writing some of these side stories along with Frank Thierry and picking up on the John Jameson uh, like thread where I believe he's a sleeper agent for Carnage and uh, a Null. So I'm excited to see where that goes uh, in Frank Thierry's books. And then Cullen Bunn, I think he's going to be doing stuff with Andy uh, Benton, you know, Mania. And then also, I think, uh, um, Patricia Robertson from the Daniel Way run of, uh, of you know, the Venom run that we talked about that I really liked. And I like that character. So I guess they're bringing her back as the new Scream or something. So I, I don't know. A lot of cool ideas. 
I'm on board. I want to give it a chance. Uh, so you let me know what you think. What did you think of the trailer? And what do you think of Absolute Carnage so far? Are you excited for it? Are you pumped? Which tie-ins are you going to get? Let me know all that in the comments down below, and we'll continue our conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.